Thalamus, or the account of tongues, described the complete history of the elven tongues. In the beginning, the Valar had speech and brought it to the world to name and glorify all things in it. Ages after, the Quendi, or the elves, awoke and were found by Orme. All the tongues after this were called Oromian or Quendian. The elves were divided into three kindreds, which were Lindor the Fair, Noldor the Wise, and the Teleri, which were the last as they were the last to have awakened. The Lindar and the Noldor dwelt in Valinor for 900 million years, and the Teleri had dwelt with them for 800 of them. As more elves dwelt in Middle-earth, the languages have shifted. They started altering the tongue of the Valar and each of their kindreds after their own fashion. The tongue of the Lindar, and especially that of the house and folk of Ingwe, was the most beautiful and also didn't change as much as the others. However, they were soft-spoken and initially altered the elvish speech less than the others. This grew to be a custom in Valinor. An ancient form of Lindar in speech became fixed and later became known as Quenya, or elvish tongue. This can be what we perceive as dialects. The Noldor, however, were brought the knowledge of Elf Latin into Beleriand, devising letters. Until the days of Feanor, the Noldor wrote in books and many things they documented in Quenya. Furthermore, the names of the Valar were only used in Quenya. The Lindor grew to love the trees, while the Noldor became more skilled in writing and further developed their own words. The Noldor were ruled by Finwë and only met with their kin when they journeyed to Valinor for a council. This was later called Noldorin, the Coralambe or Konaldorin. They were further developed by new words and devices of languages not originated by Valian origin nor common to all the Eldar but invented anew by the Noldor. The same occurred with the tongues of the Kendi, though the Noldor became the chief inventor of languages and were restless in spirit even before Morgoth. Thus, in Valinor, there was Elf Latin, which was the written and spoken Kenya made by the Lindor. For a while, it was not known to mortal men. In Beleriand, the tongues gradually became estranged, or completely different from the tongues of the Eldar in Valinor. Later, the speech of the Green Elves in Osirion would become estranged from that of their own kindred in Arid Linden. Their speech eventually faded and diminished, though this tongue was recorded in Gondolin and known by the Teleri and those who have kinship with them, such as Elwing and Era Arinda. Thus, it can be said that they became dead languages. After the fall of Gondolin and the War of Beleriand, the survivors spoke Noldorin. However, the Noldor and Teleri kept their own tongues and since some of them would not leave Middle-earth, their speeches would eventually fade. Quenya and Sindarin are the two most commonly heard of Elvish languages and also languages in Middle-earth. This was also known by the men as well, with the Dunedain speaking an Elvish tongue. Before the Third Age, they were first spoken by the Noldor and Vanyar in Valinor, though they had slightly different dialects. They are High Elven or Quenya, which is also known as Elven Latin. It may be thought of as similar as the Latin language and used in ceremonies, lore, and song. Grey Elven or Sindarin, the language of those along the coast of Beleriand but haven't passed over the sea and ruled under King Thingol. And finally, the Exiles which are part of the Grey Elves, who were adopting Sindarin, which is then known as the tongue of Elves and Elf Lords. By the time of Lord of the Rings, the common speech or Westron became more commonly used than any of the Elvish languages. However, the Elvish languages were still used but mainly in names of people and places. The languages were a driving force in the writing of Lord of the Rings. Scripts and letters were all written in Elder in origin. The Tangwar was more ancient, having been developed by the Noldor. The Kyrth were devised by Sindar and Beleriand, and also became known to men and orcs. However, since the Kyrth was rearranged back in the First Age, in Beleriand, under the influence of the Tangwar of the Noldor, the alphabet of Daeron was formed and named after the lore master, King Thingol of Doriath.